Good morning, students. How are you today? The peace of the Lord be with you. Well, it is good to be with you again this morning. Can you believe it's our final chapel of the school year? Yeah. Yeah. We've got a lot of exciting things here at chapel this morning. Of course, it is the last chapel of the school year, and I know you guys have all sorts of fun stuff going on in your classrooms or field trips and, and special dress days and things like that. We also have a number of special guests. We have, I think, extra parents and family members here today. Uh, we also have our pre-K friends with us. Can you guys welcome them? So our pre-K students uh, who are sticking around here at Shepherd for school next year, uh, they'll be with us every Wednesday for chapel next year, and so they get a taste of it here today. Uh, and then after chapel, we have the flag raising ceremony outside, and I'll give some instructions uh, for that at the end. And we have a baptism today as part of chapel too, and so uh, an extra special uh, final chapel of the school year this year, so it's good to, to be with you. Uh, as we prepare to begin and sing, we do so with our invocation, and so would you please stand and make the sign of the cross with me? We begin in God's name, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing. We're starting out with our big song medley. We took all the songs you love to sing for the whole school year and mashed them all together into one big medley. Here we go.
just want to be a sheep. Ba, 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 ba. from back.
songs were some of your favorites throughout this entire year. And we have spent an entire school year now praising Jesus for who he is and what he has called us to do. So our last chapel reading takes us all the way back to the very beginning. So I'm going to let Whitney come up and read our final, um, our final verses from the Bible for this school year. Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain to which Jesus had directed them. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. And Jesus came and said to them, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the, to the, end of the age.
All right, will you guys pray with me as we begin? God, we thank you for this day and that you have brought us here. We thank you for all the blessings that you have given to us through this school year. And as we wrap up this school year and prepare to head different ways this summer in different directions, uh, we thank you for your promise that you are always with us. Help us to always remember that uh, and help us to continue to be your disciples and also to make more disciples. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. So Whitney just read our theme verses for this school year for us from Matthew chapter 28, and these are obviously very important words, some very important words that Jesus spoke. Uh, Jesus had died, he had risen again, And he had spent 40 days with his disciples, and he was getting ready to ascend into heaven. And so this was the last thing that he was sharing with his disciples. Um, At kindergarten graduation last week, I had the kids imagine, uh, I wanted them to pretend that they were getting ready to leave the earth, that they were getting ready to go to another planet. And they had 30 seconds to share one last message with their friends and family. What would they share? You guys can think about that. If you were getting ready to to go somewhere else and you weren't going to be with your your friends and family anymore, yes, you might be sad. You would probably be sad. Hopefully you would be sad. Uh, But what would be one last thing that you would share? That's kind of how it was for Jesus. Uh, He had one last opportunity to share and to teach his disciples. And so I want to highlight some of the things that Jesus had to say in this last message to his disciples. He said, go, again, that was our theme this year, right? Go, making disciples for life. He said, go, and then he said, make disciples of all nations. What do you think all nations means? People all over the world, yeah. Don't just stay here in San Antonio. He wasn't telling his disciples, don't just stay here in Jerusalem, but go and make disciples of all nations, all different types of people. And then he said, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them, and then finally he said, I am with you always to the end of the age. So all year we've talked about uh, you being disciples of Jesus, you being students and followers of Jesus, Uh, but you can also make more disciples, can't you? We've talked about that as well. So you can be disciples who make more disciples. Uh, have we done some baptizing this school year? We have, haven't we? We have our, our school baptism service in February. And as I said, we're going to have another baptism here this morning. That's something where we're following this command of Jesus. Uh, he also says, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Do we teach you about Jesus here? Yeah, here at chapel, uh, but also in your classrooms. I bet some of you have learned about Jesus out on the playground or on a field trip. Uh, You get taught about Jesus here. And then finally, uh, he says, And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. What do you think end of the age means? You can just shout it out. Until you die? Actually, it's even more than that. Until the end of this world, until Jesus uh, comes again and takes us all with him to heaven. He says, I am with you always. What more comforting words could there be? I wish I could tell you that after the end of this school year, no matter what you did, no matter where you go, I wish I could tell you things were going to be good. Things were going to be easy. Things were always going to be fun. But that's not always the case, and they won't always be that way. But even better than being able to tell you that things would always be good, uh, I can tell you this promise from Jesus that he says, I am with you always to the end of the age. So whether you're coming back here next year or whether you're going to a different school, especially like our eighth graders, if if you're going on somewhere else, uh, Jesus isn't just with you here, but he's with you always and everywhere you go. And that's something that we can look forward to. Uh, another promise of Jesus is, is the work that he does for us in baptism, that he calls us our own, that he washes away our sin and calls us his children. And that's something that we get to, to witness now. And so at this time, I want to invite Ryu and his family to come forward for the baptism. And while they come forward, I'm going to light the candle.
have Miss Lauren hold the candle. Yeah, you can scoot over to the end. Yep, you can stand by him. So it's pretty special that we get to do this today. Let me, I'll get out of the way for now. Um, Ryu, he's going to be going to a different school next year. But he said, before I leave, I want to be baptized. And I, Ryu, I know that you're going to be making disciples at your new school and sharing Jesus with those people as well. And so it's a blessing for us uh, right before the end of the school year to get to uh, baptize you as well. And you get to receive those promises from God. And so uh, let's uh, enjoy this moment of Ryu's baptism here today. I'm going to start by just sharing a little bit about what Scripture has to say about baptism, and then I have some questions for you guys. So, uh, Jesus commanded baptism when he said in the last chapter of Matthew's Gospel, this is, this, these words should sound familiar, All authority has been given to me in heaven and earth. Go, therefore, and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all I have commanded you. And then in the last chapter of Mark, Jesus promised, whoever believes and is baptized shall be saved. And so we believe baptism is a means of grace, part of God's promise of salvation, which is for all people. In baptism, God calls us by name and makes us his own. And so now as the gathered people, the gathered sons and daughters of God, let us join together in confessing the faith into which we baptize using the words of the Apostles' Creed. And so they'll be on the screen for us. And the Apostles' Creed is a a summary of our faith. And so we're saying this is what we baptize in here today. So uh, please follow along. And if you can read, please read these words with me. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And so you, as Ryu's mom, bear a special responsibility to bring him up in the true knowledge and fear of God, to bring him to God's house for worship, to teach him to pray, and to share with him the word of God and its teachings. If you are willing to do these things, then say yes with the help of God. May the Lord bless you with his grace that you may perform this holy work. I now ask you to confess the gracious work we believe God will accomplish through baptism. And you can all say this. So, Do you believe that through baptism God will bring you, Ryu, to faith in the only true God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit? Then say, we do so believe. Do you believe that through baptism, God will empower you, Ryu, to reject the devil and to grow in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ? Then say, we do so believe. Is it your intent then after being baptized and is it your intent after baptizing Ryu to raise him in the Christian faith? Then say, such is our intent. All right. Ryu, what is your full name? All right, you can come forward here. Ryu Ian Montanez, I baptize you in the name of the Father and in the name of the Son and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth in water and the Spirit, keep you in his grace unto life everlasting. Amen. And you can use that to wipe your forehead if you need to. Please join me now as we pray for the newly baptized. Almighty and merciful God, thank you for granting Ryu new birth in holy baptism. We pray that you would keep him in his baptismal grace, that he may be faithfully brought up to lead a godly life that honors you. And finally, with all the saints, receive the promised inheritance in heaven. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 
And then we have this candle for you uh, as a, a sign of uh, the Spirit now living inside of you. Just like I imagine on a, a birthday, you probably like having candles on a cake. Uh, it's similar with this baptism candle. And uh, you're invited on each year on the anniversary of your baptism or also on your birthday or things like the first day of school. You can light this uh, and it will remind you that Jesus is always with you uh, even to the end of the age like we talked about. And so uh, I'll let you hold that and you can blow it out whenever you want to. Yep, yeah, you can. Go ahead. And I invite all of you, uh, especially tonight and this week and even in the coming weeks, uh, to remember Ryu in your prayers, maybe at the dinner table tonight. Uh, you can pray for him as well and thank God for the blessings that have been given to Ryu through baptism. So thank you guys. We've got this bag for you with a gift in there as well, and you may return to your seats. Yep. Will you please join me now as we close our message time in prayer. God, again, we thank you for all the blessings you give to us, especially that promise that you are always with us. No matter where we go, no matter what we do, no matter what we face, you are always with us. Help us to, to trust that and believe that so strongly, God, that, that we never doubt and we, we always know that you are with us. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. All right, we have uh, our last uh, br time of bringing our chapel offerings forward. Uh, do we have, ch yeah, chapel helpers are headed back there. Uh, all this month we've been gathering items for Daisy Cares, uh, for dogs and cats, all sorts of food and, and toys and things like that. And so uh, tomorrow I think they're going to get delivered to Daisy Cares. Um, and so as the students bring forward our offerings here today, let's sing one more time. Thank you, Lord, for loving me and taking care of all I need. Thank you, Father, for your care. Bless these gifts that we now share. All right. Thank you, and thank you to our volunteers. Uh, we've collected a lot of offerings this year. And it's helped a lot of different people, and I imagine there's going to be some happy pets as well with this. And so thank you for all your offerings uh, throughout the year. Now at this time, we want to recognize birthdays and baptism birthdays. Uh, you're going to see a lot of names up here because it's, it's birthdays and baptism birthdays uh, all throughout the summer. So if you see your name up there, or even if you miss it, but you have a, a birthday this summer, you can go ahead and stand. I think we have several slides worth. Any, any others? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Let's sing happy birthday. Are you ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear friends. Happy birthday to you. God's blessings to you. God's blessings to you. God's blessings, dear friends. God's blessings to you. Happy birthday. Now, baptism birthdays. Uh, we don't have quite as, as many. Is it just one slide? Okay. So. All right. Okay, are we ready to sing our baptism song? Yeah, I think we got almost everybody standing up. Awesome. Ready? Happy, happy baptism day when our sins were washed away. Happy, happy we will be. Live with God eternally. All right. 
Again, happy birthday and happy baptism birthdays to all of you uh, this week and also all summer long. Uh, now we have a couple of prayer requests, and so let's uh, once again bow our heads and fold our hands and go to God in prayer. Dear God, you have again blessed us in so many ways this school year. We thank you that we are able to come to such a wonderful school where we can learn about you, we can talk about you. Uh, if we're going through difficult things, we, can, we have people we can rely on for help, God. We thank you that throughout this year, we have learned more and more about what it means to be a disciple, to be a follower of you, Jesus. Uh, we pray that even though the school year is ending, that we would not stop being disciples and we would not stop making more disciples. Uh, that, that should be something we do all throughout our lives, God, and so we ask that you empower us to continue to do that. Uh, we pray today, especially for those students who uh, may not be returning here next year, whether they're moving to another city or state, whether they're uh, just switching to a different school. We pray for our eighth grade students as well as they uh, move on to high school. We pray that, that a foundation has been laid in them here, God, and that uh, their faith will only continue to grow and blossom from here, God. Once again, remind them that you are always with them and that they can always trust in you and rely on you. Uh, and we thank you for uh, being entrusted with them during their time here, God. We pray uh, along with Sarah today for her dad who is having uh, a third surgery tomorrow because of an infection. And we ask that you be with him, uh, that you help him to be as, as pain-free as possible, God. We ask that you give him peace and comfort and rest and again, help him to, to trust in you, God, and look to you. We pray for his doctors and his nurses that they would be skilled and have wisdom and know exactly what to do. God, we also pray for our flag raising ceremony, which is going to take place in just a little bit uh, outside in front of the new Family Life Center, God. Uh, we thank you for all the ways that you bless us uh, and all the ways that, that you look out for us. Uh, you, you have us here in such a, a wonderful place, a wonderful country, God, and uh, help us each time we see those flags to be reminded that you are with us and that you have blessed us in so many ways. All these prayers as well as uh, those people and those prayers that we're thinking of right now, God, we bring them before you in the name of your son, Jesus, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All right, before the blessing in our final song, I have just a few instructions for the flag raising ceremony. Uh, Mr. Cooper will still dismiss you uh, once we're done with chapel, but uh, when you are dismissed, your classes, you're going to go uh, out into the lobby and around the corner, and you're going to go out these side doors, and you can go down the new steps uh, to get ready for the flag raising ceremony. So you'll go down the new steps and into the new parking lot. Uh, in that area where you can, can see the flags. And if the, the younger kids could be in front, that way everybody can see and then go back to the older kids. Uh, for the, the raising of the United States flag, the junior high band will play the national anthem during that. And then afterwards, we will say all three pledges to the three flags. Um, and then once that's done, you are dismissed to go on your way back to your classrooms or whatever activities are, you pl are planned for you after that. Uh, now, do we want to do blessing first? Let's do the song. The, the kids are singing. After the blessing, though, right? Oh, I thought there was before. That's what I Okay. Thought. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Uh, would you please stand? And you can do the actions with me. As you go your way, remember that Christ is with you every step of the way. He goes above you to watch over you. He goes beneath you to catch you should you stumble and fall. He goes before you to show you the true path to follow. 
He goes behind you to protect you from all that is evil. He goes beside you as your friend so you are never alone. And he goes in your heart because he loves you so. Amen. I would like to invite all of the uh, chapel song leaders who sang this year to come forward. Um, motion folks, you're going to be standing off to the side by the piano. Chapel song leaders, you're going to stand where we practiced standing. The rest of you may be seated. Chapel song leaders have been working to sing a special song in blessing as a send-off to our eighth grade class. And they're going to sing a song called The Blessing. You'll hear some of the same words that we spoke uh, for our blessing. And this is a song specifically for the eighth grade class called The Blessing. Now it's your turn to sing our sending song, Send Me Out. Stand up.
us for worship. May you go out and tell everyone about Jesus as you go your way this summer. You may be seated for dismissal.